Some days you wake up and you are swamped with projects from uh, uh, on your calendar. You know, you, you've scheduled things out and everything is coming due on a certain day. And then there are other days like today when you wake up and there's nothing pre-planned. There's nothing on your production calendar and there's nobody emailing you and you're corresponding with anyone about doing a project due for today. So what do you do? Do you panic? Do you freak out? I don't think so. That's not the way I roll. And that's uh, I, and the only reason I don't is, A, because I have trust in God, and two, because I've been through this process many times. And sometimes it can last uh, for just a day. Sometimes it can last for uh, several days. Sometimes it can last a week. And sure, I mean, it's, it's a little unnerving, but you don't panic. And you definitely don't freak out and you don't start, you know, emailing every possible person you've ever worked with over the last umpteen years and saying, hey, uh, could I do some work for you? I mean, yeah, you want to stay in contact. But the point of all this, of even talking about this, is letting you know you don't have to panic when things are, are light or if they're not rolling along. You know, if you're not in this groove to where you're knocking out three, four, five voiceovers a day or more and your calendar is just blocked out full. Those are wonderful times. But what I found is that I get kind of complacent with my marketing and with the time it takes to continue to grow or build my business. And that is absolutely critical or crucial that you have time or that you make the time in your schedule, even when things are rolling along great, to uh, stay connected with folks that you're, uh, that you're contacted or connected with in LinkedIn. Uh, spend time on social media, uh, liking and commenting on uh, your colleagues' uh, posts or on, on, on seeking out and generating new leads, uh, uh, cold calls, which I, absolutely terrify me for some reason. Um, I just don't like the cold call thing, but I know it's a necessary part of, of growing your business. So again, the point of this is just to say, that on those lighter days or those lighter stretches of time that you're never, you're, you're not feeling down. You're not feeling like, oh, did I make the right decision to be doing what I'm doing? Should I consider a career change or, you know, and it doesn't have to just, just have to be voiceover. This can be self-employed uh, folks of all different, you know, career types that you don't panic, that you just relax, that you focus your time and your energy on, on other things. Um, Website tweaks, um, social media uh, profile uh, updates, uh, in, the, in the case of voiceover folks, uh, demos, um, auditions. That's a big thing. Um, one, of the, one of the ways I'm going to use the most, one of the ways I'll be most productive today during this light period is to go on to the sites that I'm active on, that I have profiles on, that I'm paying for, voice123.com, voplanet.com. Um, voicerealm.com and a few others that I'm active on. Fiverr is another place I'm active on. Freelancer is another place I'm active on. Upwork's another place I'm active on. And just, just feel out and see what's going on because when things are great and you're busy, yeah, that's wonderful. And, and that's what we all want. It, like any actor or any voice talent or anybody who does things assignment by assignment, you want to stay busy. But there will be times, realistically, where you won't be busy. So what you do with that time, you know, don't go watch Netflix and, you know, binge watch for three or four hours and go the end of the day. Well, that was a total waste. Watch, watch some YouTube videos. Get some training. Um, find a way to utilize that time so at the end of the day you can go, well, I didn't have much booked work, but at least I learned something. Learn from a colleague. Um, connect with somebody you haven't connected with in a while. There are the same number of hours in the day. Everybody gets them. And I marvel at people who get so much done, but I realize they start early. They cut out the distractions that are not helping them grow their business. And they focus on finding new business or improving themselves in some way. And I guess if I had to leave you with one thing, it would be that Make a difference in you today. Make a difference in what you bring to the table. Make a difference in someone else's life. That's something else, uh, and that is to encourage other folks. 
you know, when there's not a whole lot going on and, and I've got my phone in my hand and, I, and I'm just, you know, just randomly searching or, or, or looking at feeds and, and Instagram from some of the folks that I, I connect with and Facebook, a uh, little bit on Twitter, but not so much. But on those social media platforms, I like to leave comments that, that encourage these folks. You know, they post a new demo or, or, they, um, or they got something new going on in their personal life that, that's exciting, a, a new baby, or uh, if they need prayer. I mean, any number of things you can find to encourage somebody. I mean, it's, it's in essence kind of a virtual, you know, pat on the back or a virtual smile or a virtual, you know, side hug because that's important, the side hugs. You don't want to get, you know, it, you know, it's social media, but, you know, let's keep it clean. Anyway, so I think that's important. Uh, I think it's important that uh, when you're not busy doing the work, doing the grind, doing the hustle, that you do take time to connect with other people because it is social media. It's not attack media. It's not uh, lambast you and whoop on you and knock you upside the head because you don't believe the same stuff I do kind of media. Is, there's a lot of that out there, but try to be a positive influence today. So with all that being said, and I'm sure I'm going to chop this up a lot because I tend to ramble when I'm staring at the, the big lens in front of my face. Um, but when all this is said and done, I hope you take away these three things. Don't panic. Don't freak out if you're not busy. Do something positive to grow your business or connect with other people and be an encouragement. Uh, give back. Pay it forward. Do something for somebody else today. And you guys be blessed. And I'll talk to you soon. I got stuff to do. I really do. I have stuff to do.